Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. Also turn on post notifications. I would like to give a special thanks to Lorenzo Ford for giving me time with the 2022 Silverado ZR2. If you guys are in the market for a vehicle, be sure to check out Lorenzo Ford and ask for Gene. But let's talk about pricing here for the ZR2 Silverado. Starting price is at $70,100. This one's tickets for $79,990. Let's talk about the exterior styling here for the 2022 Chevrolet ZR2 Silverado here. This is updated for 2022. This also wears a new front fascia and also has a redesigned interior. But looking at these headlights here, they're going to be a full LED projector headlight with an automatic low and high beam, LED turn signal and daytime running light, which is a nice finish here to the actual front end of this vehicle with this dark chrome trim here at the upper part of the grille. This also has this gloss black finished grille here with the flow tie so it can feed that 6.2 liter V8 much air as it possibly needs. I like the nice red accent to the actual outline there. There's a front facing camera with this washer on the end of it. The whole bumper is gonna have this gloss black finish trim and there's full LED fault lights here at the lower part of the fascia. And this is a real metal skid plate there because you guys are gonna take this truck off road very serious. And there's also red recovery hooks here just in case you guys were to get stuck. And Chevrolet says this has around 32.5 degrees of approach angle and this has 11.2 three inches of ground clearance so it is very capable even with the 33 inch uh terrain tires here i like this nice cutout here in the actual uh bumper there and this is a marker here in the actual grill as well and this hook bolt here does push out that heat it does say 6.2 liter on the side there's also the zr2 badge here on the side fender let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the zr2 here but looking at the side profile here this has a wheel base of 147.5 inches with an overall of 231.2 so it's right on par with every other full size truck in this segment looking at these tires and wheels here these are a good year wrangler all-terrain tire they're wrapped in this 275 70 uh, tire here the 18 inch rim design I like the carper carper with the chrome also with the black pocket finish there's a blacked out chevrolet bow tie there and these are a 33 inch uh tall tire so really good tires here and as you guys can see they got the suspension here is very beefy compared to a standard uh silverado because this is because this is the zr2 so you basically need a beef up suspension to basically go off road like I mentioned, ZR2 on the side fender here. This is gloss black mirror cap here with the spotlight. There's also the standard size sunroof here that Chevrolet gives you. There's no panoramic option here on this current generation, but there's also these gloss black finish uh, to the door handles with these uh, fixed running boards here. So if you guys have small children, they can get into this large pickup truck. Looking at the bed length, this is a five and a half foot bed. I think you can get a six and a half foot bed if I'm not mistaken. And I love that Chevrolet does give you these large steps here to get into the actual bed, just in case you have the tailgate up. Looking at the tail lights here, they're gonna be a LED combination, which is a LED turn signal, brake light, but the reverse lights are gonna be an incandescent bulb. It does say Chevrolet stamped on the actual tailgate. There's a ZR2 badge here, and it's also the Chevrolet badge there as well and there is rear parking sensors and Chevrolet removed the four pin connector so now you have this area right here so you can attach a camera and whatnot but there's your seven pin connector there and Chevrolet says this can tow around 8,900 pounds. Open up the bed back here press that button there this has a payload of 1480 pounds so it is capable of putting things in the actual bed and also towing. There's your tie down points back here there's an LED light right here uh, as well but overall the Chevrolet ZR2 does not disappoint. Looking at this interior of the ZR2, as you guys can see, massive screens here. This interior is just super clean compared to last year's model. Chevrolet basically showed the other competitors in the segment that they can build a nice interior here inside their uh, flagship vehicle. As you guys can see, this is a 13.4 inch display there. It does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. There's this 12.3 inch instrument cluster here that you can customize which is very high resolution and very snappy and really responsive which you guys you know mess with both of the actual displays here you also have a head to display i'm sure you guys that in a few seconds but let's talk about the materials here on the door panel i like this nice rubber material here that's also two person memory seat there's your lock control with this aluminum accented door handle i like the fake carbon fiber like trim it looks really nice the, the the door panel here is very laid out, very simple uh, to uh, use here. It is automatic up and down only for the driver and passenger. There's your window controls. This also has the Bose audio sound system with this neon or this neon uh, stitching here. There's some storage and cup holder space down here in the actual door uh, pocket. But shutting the door here and to start up the truck, the push button start is there. You guys are greeted by this nice display here. It does have the Chevrolet uh, logo right there in the actual display. 
That's the typical uh, chime from uh, GM. As you guys can see, like I mentioned, two large displays here, which look very super clear and very uh, nice here. But let's look at the instrument cluster here. Like I mentioned, you can customize it by using this portion here on the steering wheel controls. To show your uh, compass, it says phone connection. This, there's your, dis there's your display layout. Also your MPG, your radio sources, like once again, your compass and whatnot. So you can customize this uh, to your liking here, which is really nice. This also has the base uh, Google uh, infotainment uh, system here from Chevrolet. So you can say, hey, Google, can you show me to the nearest gas station? So as you guys can see, it does uh, start up very snappy here. As you guys see, it connected to my CarPlay very quick and it will give you turn by turn navigations once you guys log into your Google account or you can make one as well. Looking at the steering wheel controls, it does have the voice controls here. You can also hang up the phone just for four clicks your warning, heated steering wheel function. Also with your cruise controllers there, I like the blacked out Chevrolet bow tie here on the airbag cover. The steering wheel here does have this uh, very thin rim, but it does feel nice to hold in my hands. There's also paddle shifters here for the 10 speed automatic transmission there's the turn signal and one wiper stock there the headlight controls are going to be off to the side here uh, for your cargo uh, lamp there's an auto four high two high and four low electronic parking brake over here is for your 15 inch heads of display i'm pretty sure it's a 15 inch heads of display it does show you different things like your driver's assistance your speed uh, sign recognition and whatnot so that is very impressive that we can get a 15 inch heads of display in a modern day truck over here's your drive mode selector here which shows you uh, terrain that's also uh, normal also an off-road mode there and I like the nice graphic there in the uh, right side of the display there to show you what mode that you're in there's also a tow haul mode here if you guys press this button down there it will put it in tow haul mode like I mentioned there's your headlight controls there I like the nice gray painted uh, trim here which is uh, really nice as well push button start is here press this button here it does take you to the uh, actual display there and it does have a wireless phone charger here my iphone 14 pro max does fit in that area just fine you also have google news google Co uh, podcast my chevrolet so you can you know remote start the vehicle from the, the chevrolet app and whatnot and sadly uh with the google uh display here it only takes up the full display if you have it in this google settings here um but if you go back to the apple carplay just for example in the actual google uh display here on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. It does not take up the complete uh, display there. So Chevrolet should do an over-the-air update to fix that uh, small little nitpick. But as you guys see, it's a split screen. But if you go to the main page here, let's find the Google Maps. Um, go to Maps here. As you guys can see, now it would take up the complete screen. And it's very snappy and responsive. I like that Chevrolet has this Google-based system. And there's a little bit of storage here. Uh, behind the infotainment system. Materials on the dashboard are gonna be a nice soft touch, soft touch material. More of that stitching is uh, continued to the actual dashboard. Press this button right here. It does reveal a two tier storage and there's also uh, more storage uh, down there as well. So large storage in this vehicle. There's also locked the rear diff. You can lock the front and rear diff by pressing this button right here. There's your lane keeping assist, parking sensors, automatic start stop. You can let down the tailgate, your hazard button, your traction control, and there's also hill descent control. More of that carbon fiber like trim is on the lower part of the lower part of the dashboard here there's three level heated and cool seats your trailer brake control is here which is nicely integrated uh next to the actual next to the driver here there's two usb charging ports the passenger also gets three level heated and cool seats this does have dual climate control putting the vehicle into reverse here just press on the side trigger portion there and kick it up to go into reverse it does reveal good camera resolution there's also different angles around this vehicle as well there's a side angle and whatnot and a tow hitch uh, view there so you guys you know can line up with the actual ball and whatnot there's a angle for to a bed so if you guys have something in there you can zoom in and whatnot and see if it flew out or uh, whatever the case may be but there's different angles around this truck as well kicking it into neutral here you got to do it very gently to go into drive just kick it into go into low mode you can use this or you can use the paddle shifters you know basically to shift your own gears and to go into park you click the p button there a lot of storage in this vehicle very large storage compartments a little storage here this is the current key fob here it does have the chevrolet bow tie on back of the key with this chrome uh, portion there there's a lock unlock remote start you can let down the tailgate and there's a panic button the key does feel nice to hold in my hand there's two cup holders more of that material is continuing to the center armrest here opening up it does reveal a deep amount of storage in there you can remove this tray here if you would like 
and there's a household outlet with two USB charging ports. Like I mentioned, my iPhone 14 Pro Max is right there in the wireless phone charger. I think it's a nice place where Chevrolet put this so it won't get in the actual way if you guys are driving and whatnot. There's two cup holders here for the rear passenger. The seats in here, they're supportive and comfortable. And above me, there's a standard size. So sadly, there's no panoramic option. You guys have to go look at the other competitors if you want that. Above me, there's gonna be the LED lights throughout the cabin and your controls for the three car garage remote uh, is there. And also for the standard size sunroof controls. And this also has a digital review camera mirror. So this does offer a lot of tech, which is really nice. Like I mentioned, large screens in here, you also have this very bright heads of display with this digital review camera mirror. So Chevrolet did come to play here in the full size truck segment with redesigning the interior and also changing up the exterior of the Silverado. Getting into the back seat of the ZR2 here, open up the door. The door opens at a very large angle so you guys can access the back seat here. Let's talk about the materials here on the door panel. There's this carbon fiber like trim here. I like the nice dark chrome finish here with the aluminum trim to the actual door handles here. It's gonna be nicely padded here with this rubberized material, which is really high quality. This is neon green or uh, highlighted yellow stitching here. It's gonna be nice and padded there. The switch gear feels really nice. This also has some more storage storage and cup holder space down here. I wish you would've said ZR2 in the actual door sill, but that's a small nitpick for me. But the seats do have this nice two-tone look to it, just like the same stitching on the actual door panel. And I like that Chevrolet does give you this little nice little storage uh, compartment here in the actual seat backs. But getting back here, there's these nice running boards here with this nice grab handle. But getting back here, as you guys can see, I do have plenty of foot space underneath the driver's seat. This is where I have the seat to drive. Chevrolet says this has 43.4 inches of rear legroom space. was well, one of the most spacious in the segment. There's also rear air vents here, two charging ports is there, three level heated seats here. You guys have to go for the other competitors if you want cool seats. Above me, there's the standard size sunroof and the lighting back here is gonna be a full LED, which is uh, really nice. But let me show you guys a nice, a feature here that the Silverado offers just like every other truck in the segment. It does give you some underfloor storage here, which is really nice, which is a dealer installed option. So I like that Chevrolet does give you this underfloor storage here, but pulling the seat down and pulling this portion down here, it does reveal the two cup holders. Let's talk about the powertrain specs here for the Silverado ZR2. This has Chevy's 6.2 liter V8. This powertrain makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. It is paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission. Payload here for the ZR2 is rated at 1,480 pounds with a towing capacity of 8,900 pounds. It also has four-wheel drive. And as the ZR2 sits here, it weighs around 5,600 pounds. Making our way over here to the fuel door, let's talk about fuel economy here for the ZR2. Open up the fuel door. Chevrolet says this gets 14 in the city and 17 on the highway. So starting off in the 2022 Chevrolet ZR2, this is an off-road capable truck. It does offer good de departure, breakover, and approach angles. With the approach angle, it's around 32.5 degrees. It also has 11.3 inches of ground clearance, even with the 33-inch tall tires. They're a good year Wrangler tires. They're pretty good tires on the market. And I can hear them drone just a little bit, but if you guys blast the tunes, especially with the Bose audio sound system, you won't really notice the actual uh, tires droning to the cabin. But with that being said, this, this interior is well laid out. You also have this 12.3 inch uh, display here. Also with this 13.4 Google base thing. So you can say, hey Google, can you show me to the nearest Starbucks? And it's very responsive. It will give you turn by turn navigations. The visibility of this truck is really good. You also have this digital review camera mirror. You guys can do it, it can do it the traditional way if you would like, but me personally, I would just leave it on this display here. So you can also spy on people if they were digging in their nose. Uh, the materials in here are really world-class. I like the nice rubber material here. There's also two price memory seats, really good side mirrors here. This does have four collision warning also with blind spot monitoring with the cruise control. So all the nice features that you guys are looking for from Chevrolet, they do offer it. I thought that you could get the Super Cruise here, but you have to go for a different trim level if you guys want to get the Super Cruise on the Silverado. You can't get in the ZR2 because it just, uh, I think Chevrolet doesn't, uh, I don't think it's compatible with the off road uh, ness of this truck. This also has Chevrolet's 6.2 liter V8. It's a small block, it makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound feet of torque. Uh, fuel economy is rated at 14 city 17 highway. If you guys are looking for a fuel efficient Silverado, you have to go for either the 2.7 turbo or the diesel powertrain, which the diesel is gonna make really good fuel savings uh, over time. Um, 
Also, the materials, like I mentioned, really high quality materials. The seats in here, they're supportive and comfortable. I like the nice two-tone look to the interior, which is really nice. This heads up display is just super bright. And right now I have the truck in two-wheel drive here. And this is one big truck. If you guys are not, you know, used to driving large trucks, this, this one is not gonna be the one for you. But this vehicle does drive freaking smooth. And I love this 15 inch heads up display. This thing shows you literally all the information uh, that you want. But let's come to a stop here. Let's do a slight acceleration run. <laughs> and that's the speed limit. But this truck does have some really good acceleration. Like I mentioned, it's a 6.2 liter V8. It's their bit, uh, small block uh, powertrain. And I like the ZR2. It's, it shows you that Chevrolet can build a world-class truck, but it doesn't compete against the TRX or the new Raptor R. This competes against like the Ford Trimmer and I think the Ram Rebel, um, which is capable off-road. One thing I'm gonna say about the hood bulges here, it kind of gets in your way of visibility, but you can you know see over it if you guys are over six feet tall. Me, personally, I'm five foot eight, so I have to adjust the seat just a little bit so it doesn't really take up too much of my visibility here. But this truck is well-rounded. I like the nice, uh, tech that Chevrolet offers with the heads-up display, the digital rear view camera mirror, the two nice displays here. Like I mentioned, it is Google Base. This does have three-level heated and cool seats, like I mentioned. And the ride quality for this to be an off-road truck, it is very capable. Here in Homestead, we have a bunch of potholes and whatnot, but this truck does a really good job of absorbing um, the potholes and whatnot, especially with these 33-inch uh, tires here. But the acceleration here is really good. The 10 speed is paired very well with this powertrain. It was co-developed with Ford, but you know Chevrolet did their own tuning uh, to the transmission to pair well with this 6.2 liter V8. With that being said, if you guys are looking for the most badass off-road truck from Chevrolet, the ZR2 is not gonna disappoint. After spending time with the 2022 Chevrolet ZR2, I like the nice tech update that Chevrolet offers. And I like that they did change up the exterior styling just a little bit. This vehicle does have a good ride quality for this to be an off-road truck. I like the departure angle that this vehicle offers. Sadly, I couldn't take this truck off-road for you guys, but I do believe that this vehicle is very capable off-road. With that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed my full review here on the 2022 Chevrolet ZR2. Be sure to check me out on Instagram at Drive One Reviews. Hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications, and I will see you all in the next video.